Using the new Service Manager Pro service schedule function is as easy as using our labor times or technical specifications functions. So the first thing you want to do is select your, your make and model. So go motorcycle to Honda 2010 and say it's a GL1800 Goldwing and select service schedule. There are two ways to look at a service schedule, whether you want to look at the miles intervals or months intervals. So say you select miles interval. Here you can select as many intervals as you would like. So say the customer comes in with 9,000 miles on their bike and they didn't do the 4,000 mile service, they didn't do the 8,000 mile service, and they know they're going on a big long trip so they want you to do the 12,000 mile service as well. So you've selected those three service intervals. The next thing you want to do is maybe flip over to the months intervals and take a look at the month intervals and say, well, the customer may have not had his vehicle service in 36 months and so maybe he didn't do the 12 month service or the 24 month service. So now you've got multiple service intervals selected. What you can do is click select options in print and it collates all of that data into one list. There's an important note to look here though. Notice how we have brake fluid R&R &R, and brake fluid inspect. At one interval it requires an inspection and at one interval it requires a remove and replace. Here you can have a conversation with your customer to determine whether or not they want to accept a certain service or decline a certain service. So say they want they decline the inspect and they want to go with remove and replace. Same here with a coolant. Say they decline the inspect and want to go with remove and replace. Then once you look over the entire list with your customer, you can print the accepted items and it creates a nice little checklist with plenty of room for comments by the technician per line item, plenty of room for comments for general items, and the technician's signature and date. The other thing you can do is print the declined items. So here you can print what the customer did not want you to perform on the vehicle. So this way if the customer ever comes back you've got a signed document that allows them to say that they've declined a specific service. That's really all of it in a nutshell. It's pretty simple to use. If you have any questions you can always feel free to contact Service Manager Pro at our office.